Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titanium. Welcome back to uh, Real Macroeconomics and Investing, patreon.com slash real macro. Uh, let's do another video of debunking fake MMT. What is fake MMT? MMT is the, uh, the prescription nonsense that we can have free this and free that and free everything. And we can print value just uh, for currency just because we feel like it and we can afford all this great free stuff, right? Uh, we'll go over this interview here with, um, with Natasha Kelton, and I call her Natasha because she believes in Soviet uh, economics. But before we go, let's look at something. Here, this is beautiful. This is, um, good night everyone, sleep peacefully, and dream of trillion dollar deficits. Mm, right? Print, 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 free stuff. Uh, the next one here, we have a cash famine. No, there's no money in the world. Uh, ridiculous, right? Absolutely ridiculous. Let me show you something. As of January 15, 2019, global debt of $244 trillion. Okay, $244 trillion. You know what this was? Uh, I think about eight years ago. It was somewhere in the neighborhood of 160 or 170 trillion dollars okay now for those of you who understand uh, fake mmt right the, 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 the myth government debt equals private sector assets that's what they tell you that's the the public uh, red ink is the non-public black ink okay global debt 244 trillion dollars it used to be 170 and now it's 244 and where's all our savings are you guys stuffed with treasury bonds and stocks because if you're not there's something wrong with the bullshit that fake mmt is telling you right dream of trillions we need more of them what has happened as we have increased excessive deficits and and uh private debt what what, what has happened inequality has soared okay but they're saying well look there's no inflation really there's no inflation have you looked at the stock market lately does anybody sit here and wonder where all these trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars came from to go buy bonds that today are uh, negative interest rates 15 trillion dollars worth 30 trillion can't even meet uh, the inflation of most countries total bonds are about 52 I think a trillion in the world so more than half cannot even meet the inflation target and 15 trillion is negative you have to pay the central bank to hold your money but Mosler and Stephanie Kelton are telling you you're stuffed with with savings yeah, you got fucking savings out the ass in fact, you don't have enough savings, okay? You need to dream of trillions of dollars. We have a cash famine at $244 trillion. The only people that benefit from excessive deficits, and I'm not talking about uh, recessions, are, even in recessions, are the top 5%. That's who, de that's who benefits. That's why you're seeing... Uh, such huge inflation in stocks, bonds, real estate, okay? That's why you're seeing it. There's so much savings out there in the hands of the few, not our savings, their savings, the top 5%. And they're telling you, you don't have enough. We need more of those savings for the top 5%. Because certainly it's not... It's not be those dollars are not going to you. They're not going to me. They're not going to the average person. And the reason they don't is because of the profit mechanism where households must de-save in order for profits to exist. Profits are for businesses and, the, and, the, and their owners. Right? Profit savings. And those savings are not recycled back into the functional economy to uh, produce the new income for the 95%. All they do, those deficits just flow right through. They use you as a middleman 
flow through to the top and excessive trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars end up there with the top 5%. And that's why everybody's looking around and saying, well, fuck, there's no inflation. Oh, my God, look, bonds are, are negative. Well, yeah, of course. Of course, if you have so much trillion, $244 trillion uh, in savings uh, in the hands of the top 5%, what are they, they can't spend that. They're, they're going to invest it, and they're going to chase yield. They'll chase yield all the way till till bonds are negative. Even uh, corporate bonds, I think, they're almost a trillion dollars negative. Anyway, let's skip that part. Uh, forget about it, okay? So here she's telling you dream of, of trillions. Uh, and we can have this free and that free and that free. Now let's listen to what she says in the interview. This is wonderful. I love this. It's two principal sources of revenues. One is tax, taxes, and the other is now revenues is borrowing, basically. So how much would come from increased taxes, and how much would come from increased borrowing? I think the, the thing is with Medicare for All is that, as we talked about just now, we're going to end up using fewer national resources to deliver health care for everyone. So if you think about it, Medicare for All actually works like a tax cut for 95% of the American people. Why? because you're going to end up spending, on average, about $3,000 a year less than you're spending today. That's $3,000 that stays in your pocket. It has the same sort of economic effect as if someone cut your taxes and left you with $3,000 more a year. So Medicare for All really does work like a tax cut. So if that's right, uh, th those savings for the entire country have to come from someplace. Somebody has to get less money doctors or insurance companies, somebody has to get less money. So who's getting less money? Where does the same come well, from? Well, most of it's coming out of the middleman, right? That's where so much of the overspending takes place today. It's because we have this additional layer. Someone is standing between you and the person on the other end of your health care, right? And that, that middleman is taking enormous chunks of money, tens and tens of billions of dollars annually that you're paying in the form of um, premiums, co-pays, deductibles that are being peeled off by the intermediaries, by the health insurance companies, by the pharmaceutical companies. So when you bring down health care costs and you start paying less, not just for the care itself, but also for the prescription medications, that all accounts for much of the savings. So I said earlier, Bloomberg News has called you, I think, the, the public face of modern... Okay. So she's fine with raising taxes... OK, suddenly, suddenly that she is an advisor to a potential pre uh, next president, suddenly uh, deficits, uh, you know, don't trim a dream of trillions. Let's raise taxes and then we'll cut out the middleman. OK, we're not going to account for all those jobs, high paying jobs that are just going to vanish. OK, <laughs> see, the sectoral balances here don't we, we don't talk about them now because we we want to push in a, a different agenda, right? So we're going to get rid of the, all those high-paying jobs. Those are the real resources, right? So people are going to lose their jobs. Uh, they're going to lose their wages. And then, once we cut out the middleman, we're going to save $3,000. Okay, that's, that's what she's saying. Again, for you people that are so-called MMTers, right? That you, you run around and say, well, oh, I'm MMT and everything. Have you seen the video where she says taxes don't fund government spending? They don't. They don't fund government spending. Well, if they don't fund government spending, why do you need to raise taxes for Medicare for all? Suddenly they do pay, you know, fund government and pay for things. Taxes, really? You see, again, I, I am not against Medicare for all I'm not for it I'm not, I you know that's not that's not the point of this uh, video the video is how they double talk okay on Twitter they're telling you dream of trillions and then oh yeah we'll raise taxes we'll cut out the all the high paying jobs in the middle and then we'll give you three thousand dollars which is hypothetical <laughs> that's like Trump saying yeah we're gonna cut the uh, taxes for the rich and uh, it's gonna make up for it in uh, uh, in taxes later on. Yeah, don't worry about it. And <laughs> it never made it made it up. We never grew the economic pie big enough to increase tax revenues, right? It's the same same garbage. There's, I mean, this is just bullshit, right? Everybody's bullshitting. They're all a bunch of bullshitters. But again, it's the cart ahead of the horse. Yeah, we'll raise the taxes on you, 
don't worry about it and then uh, yeah you'll see you'll see 3000 on average yeah okay sure i got a fucking bridge to sell you and by the way if you go to the uh, bernie sanders little calculator it's really cool um if you don't um uh if you don't if you don't buy uh, insurance you end up paying like 2700 go do the little calculator don't don't get any insurance and you can see that the healthy are going to be paying for the sick. So there's multiple layers of fuckery in this deal. And again, I'm not I'm not saying I'm against it. That's not you know, that's not the point here. But you see how on Twitter she gets all the hearts, all the likes, all the thumbs up. Everybody's like, "Oh my god, I love her. She's wonderful. We can just print 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 taxes don't fund government. Oh, this is wonderful dream of trillions. We have a cash famine." And everybody's like, oh my God, I love this. You know, this is wonderful. But then when it comes to being an advisor and a real job in real economics in the real world, well, we have to raise taxes. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. These people are fucking special, seriously. I think somebody on Twitter uh, wrote something like, uh, it's the Popeye guy. You know, the guy that says, I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck getting your money afterwards. All these people are shysters. That's all they are. And you, you guys are falling for it. You know, they're using all this marketing, all this bullshit. And you guys are falling for it. You know, dream of trillions. That's it for this video. Uh, again, don't be fooled by these clowns. They're clowns. They're neoliberal clowns. All they want to do is increase deficits exponentially funnel money through the uh, 95% through the profit mechanism and keep pumping those top 5% oligarchs with trillions and trillions and exponential trillions of dollars of savings while they're throwing you a bone of uh, you know to, to, to lick on don't fall for it be smart keep it real keep it pure MMT Patreon.com slash real macro. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye bye.